BP colon B B as in uh, Britain, P as in parrot colon. Yeah, and give a space and type supplier invoice. Supplier. Oops. Yeah, suppliers, space invoice. Yeah, now click on the default definition. The first one. Okay. Now, if you see here, we have five steps here. The first step is initiation. Initiation means to initiate the task, uh, the create supplier invoice. Then we have a step A1, which is approval here. So the third step is about uh, review trackable invoice. So basically if we create uh, assets using supply invoices, then the third step will be initiated. And the fourth step is also about uh, initiate asset recession event. So these are like basic. Uh, so whenever we configure uh, supply invoices, now this is a practice tenant, but in real world, uh, we would configure at least somewhere like seven to eight steps with different amount categories and criteria. So this is just to show you how the system will route the things to different people for approval. So if you just scroll down up a little bit up to step A2. So we have to see like uh, this AP data entry specialist and business asset accountant, right? Okay. So business asset accountant, we are not listing any assets. So it will not go to business asset accountant. AP data entry specialist, uh, we have not assigned this role, but we can use some other company to do this transaction. That's absolutely fine. We'll use a supplier Olive and then we'll go ahead. Uh, now, uh, just type, go to the search bar, a little bit top and type create supplier invoice. Space invoice. Yeah, great. Now in the company type TFC, T as in Tango, F as in France, C as in Charlie, press enter. Great. Now in the supplier, do you remember the supplier name? Um, it was not Olive. Olive was a company, OG001. Uh, it was something like, uh, what it was, entertainment, right? Herbal Life, yeah, the supplier was Herbal uh, Life. Herbal life, but we remember we just said like it can be used only for GMC and other company, but you still go ahead and type. So this will be good testing to see if we can use this supplier with other companies. Great. So it means we did not put anything in restricted to companies here. Okay. The mm -hmm. currency is coming by default because it was a default currency for this supplier. Invoice date is today's date, 7th of December. Invoice received it. What does it mean? Okay. So it means when the supplier send the invoice to us, this is about that particular date. Okay, it can be in the past also that he has sent in the past. Now we are creating the supplier invoice. So, but typically we use the same date as we are creating the invoice date. Control total amount. Uh, it's about like, uh, suppose you have 50 lines or 40 lines or 10 lines in your supplier invoice. But you know that the total of all those lines or the line that I'm gonna create is not more than $2,000. Okay, just to make sure that yes, whatever the line amount I'm putting in, in each line, that is equal to 2000, it's not crossing that. So in that case, if you want, we can put some total amount, otherwise we can keep it blank. Let's put 2000 here only. Now come down. So remember, right, even though you have put 2000, it's showing you total invoice amount was $100 here. Why? Because remember yesterday, we had assigned a spend category and default purchase item. Now the purchase item ordering price was 100 USD. So that's why it's showing you the 100 USD here. So skip these two fields for now, freight amount and other charges. Come down. Yeah, if you see here, payment terms that we had assigned net four days and the due date is also showing up as 11th of uh, December. Now default payment type is cash. If you want to override this, you can do so, but we'll not do the so. Default text option, leave it for now. Default text code also. Default withholding text code also, leave it. Then on the right hand side, 
you have something called a supplier document receipt. You can leave it for now. We'll not go to, into this for now. So click on the supplier document received. So it means that document shared by the supplier, it has been received to us by us. Supplier invoice number. So remember when the supplier will send the PDF to us or the invoice to us, that will have a different number. What we are going to create. So just put any random number, alphanumeric, anything you want for testing, whatever you want. Yeah. If you have not raised a PO in the workday, but in other system, you may have raised a PO that is getting integrated to workday. In that case, whatever the PO number was, we'll mention it here. Otherwise you can leave it blank. Then reference invoice is something like you're gonna create this invoice for some other invoice. So we'll talk about that some other day uh, because we still have a lot of time. We'll cover that in other practice. Right now we'll just create a simple basic one. So leave all this for now. Yeah, memo, you can leave it. We'll see some other examples. Come down, scroll down. Yes. Now, if you scroll towards right. Yeah, so by default, as you can see, it has captured the purchase item here and this is linked to entertainment. So now if you scroll towards right, little bit right. Yeah, it's about text. So we'll take some other examples here. Unit of measure, so you have to put each here. Click on the prompt here and select each. Yes. And the unit cost is $100 here. Scroll towards right. Okay, now in the memo, just put this is our first invoice. Okay, select a cost center here, anything. Just type ARC or something. Yeah, select uh, this first one, second one, doesn't matter. A region is APAC that we had uh, given as a related work tag. Mm -hmm. Scroll towards right. Great. Now go back to the left hand side. Mm. Okay. Now hit click on the submit button here. Yeah. So you got one error, which is good. Well, invoice amount does not match the control amount. Yes, that's what we learned when we started this invoice that we have put 2000 in the control total amount field. Now we mm -hmm. have two ways, either match it with 2000 or change the 2000 amount to $100. So better to change it here. Just say unit cost is $2000 and it will make equivalent to control total amount. Submit. Yeah, just put yeah, put the tab here. Now that will just change automatically. Now hit submit. Yeah, click on view details. Yeah, now just bring your cursor near to this Richard Ho name and you will see three dots. Yeah, and yeah, click on that. Yeah, just don't right click, just click on that and it will show you start proxy. Start proxy, yeah. Um. It, it will take some time, maybe like it's a little slow. Yeah, you would see an option called start proxy come down. Go to security profile, you will see an option called security profile. Security come down, come down. Yes, yeah, security profile. I think just went up a little bit. No, no, no. Come down further. Come down. I'll show you just a little bit, little bit slowly down. Yes. More further down. Yeah. The security profile, right? You just uh, come down, come down again. You're just missing it. You're going too fast. Uh, no, no, just come down. Yeah. Little bit, little bit. Yes. Little bit more down, little bit further. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Start proxy. You see that? No, no, no. Just, uh, just go, just go back. Again, click on the security profile. There is and start proxy. Little bit up, little bit up. Yes. Now remember this proxy is only enabled in the implementation and sandbox environment. This is not available in production. Now hit OK. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now go to his inbox on the right hand side, or you can see the noise in front of you also. It's not here. Just go to his inbox. This one. Yep. Absolutely right. Yeah, you see that this has come to his approval. So the approver will, you know, review the transaction, the details sent by the submitter or the requester, and they will hit approve button. So click on this approve button here. Great. So click on this view details. Yeah, click on detail and process. On the left hand side only. On the left hand side only detail and process. Oh, detail. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you just bring your mouse near to that magnifying glass on your screen on your left hand side, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just three dots. Click on three dots. And we'll see the accounting of it. So click on accounting and then view accounting. Yes. So as you can see, the operational journal is posted. And if you see the total debit and credit is 2000 US dollars. If you further scroll down, yeah, it's 6855-2000. Okay, so it has it to this letter account. As you can see, the memo which we had put at the line level, it has captured that also. So first invoice 2000-2000. Now, scroll a little bit up. And on the blue link where it says supplier invoice one three four two four, click on that. Click on that. Yeah. Yeah. Just click on the name. Yeah. Just click on once. Why it's not opening? Are you clicking on this? I yes. should open. Uh, so something is wrong here. Okay, uh, never mind. I will figure it out. Okay, go to search bar and yeah. type some proxy. Type proxy. Yeah. So there are many ways through which you can find the supplier invoice in the system by typing the number in the search bar. No, sorry, uh, my bad. Type stop. S T O P stop oh, proxy. Stop. Sorry. Stop proxy, yeah, just remove Y. Sometimes it doesn't come like this. Yeah, just uh, from the proxy, just remove Y and then you'll see it will show up. Uh, something is a little, I think it's very slow today. I'm not sure why, but idly it will come. Yeah, just you can search it also. Yep, yep, yep. Now in the search bar type, find supplier invoices. Yeah, third one, yes. In the company type TFC and press enter. In the supplier type herbal, no, no, go back. Yeah. Yeah, it just didn't select. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah, just click escape. Yeah. yeah. Huh? About life. Great. Mm -hmm. Now it's okay. Yeah, once you select herbal, click on okay. That's fine. We don't need to select any other value because we know that's only one invoice. So it will come very swiftly. Yeah, click on the uh, now. If you can see, this is the thing, right? Now mm -hmm. I want to show you one thing. Uh, click on the supplier name Herbal Life. Yeah. Okay. So if you see here in the balance view, it is showing you two thousand dollars here. That's what we need to pay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now if you go to invoices and payment tab, 
go to the third tab on the first row invoices and payments oh, yeah. yes yes click on the invoices mm. uh, the second second option in the second line oh yeah okay you can see that it's showing the invoices here so we have invoice workbench also create recurring invoices also find invoices report also so there are a lot of reports which we, and options from the supplier itself which we can use to create invoices create invoice adjustment we'll talk about invoice adjustment also it's like a very pretty normal thing and how to create invoice from this page also but remember the balance is $2000 which we have to pay it back to the supplier and the due date is 12th of uh december four days from now now uh let's do one thing we'll pay this invoice we'll not pay this invoice right now we'll create more and more invoices because we have to see a lot of other examples of adjustments and how it impacts the overall uh, amount now let's scroll towards left scroll towards left on this bar yes on this magnifying glass yeah bring your cursor near to this magnifying glass and then three dots it's okay yeah and again go back to three dots of magnifying glass yeah and supplier invoice click on supplier invoice and say copy so it will capture maximum details from the previous invoice now again put an invoice received date okay now i'll show you something that what happens if you try to if you do not change the invoice number received detail on the right hand side you keep it as it is the system will throw the error that it's been already used please use a new number so now try to hit submit see that was already not used so just change the invoice number a little bit here and there any digit add or subtract here just no don't click on any reference invoice no, don't uh, click, don't uh, click here don't. yeah yeah uh, just click, uh, no, no, not here not here. I, yeah yeah, not yeah, here, yeah. i my num lock was on so my i tab down accidentally no two was already used so put nine yep. eight whatever it is yeah, there, there we go now submit yeah now hit submit So again, it has gone to Richard O. Now we'll see one example here. Okay, uh, click on view details. And again, bring your cursor near to three dots of Richard Ho. And go to security profile. Yeah, and then security profile. Yeah. And then the start proxy. Proxy. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now, if you go back to inbox of Richard Ho, Yeah, so we'll not approve it. We'll send it back. Okay, hit the send back button. Yeah, so this is some functionality. Also, give a reason like testing send back option. Yeah. So again, now so say start proxy as Logan McNeil. Let's go type start proxy. Yes. And type LMC here. Okay. Yep. And then find supplier invoice. No, no, not required. It will be back to the inbox of Logan McNeil. So once we are there, we'll log in as Logan McNeil. 
go to the inbox. Why it has not come? We hit submit, right? Yes. What? Not there. And never mind. So again, uh, we'll use the same report. Find supplier invoice. We'll figure it out. Like to whom with sitting right now. Find supplier invoice. That's the report you. Company A was TFC. <laughs> T is in Tango, F is in France, in Charlie. Supplier was humble. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Now it's in draft, right? So uh, click on the magnifying glass. And we'll see what happened here. So now scroll down and click on the process history on the third tab. Yep. And let's see a wedding action. Okay. We logged in as Steve Morgan. Okay. 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 So Steve Morgan on behalf of Logan McNeil. So initiating action, but Logan, right? So I did should have come to Logan McNeil only. We have to recheck like what happened here, but no worries. We have the invoice back. Now go up. To invoice uh, magnifying glass option yeah click on three dots and say edit supplier like invoice no no go up go up supplier invoice and then edit now we got the invoice details again we can add it the amount whatever we want now change the amount to 1000 no, no no not here 1000 just uh, from 2000 to 1000 yep oh it's 1100 that's fine okay that's fine Same. yep but remember you have to change at the line level also Oh, that was all the way down here and off to the left. And then change it. Yeah, absolutely. 1100. Yes. Come on. There go. Now I'll update the extended amount and then I can submit. Yeah. Now it's back to how. Yeah, now again, you have to proxy as Richard Ho. Start proxy again. Or view details. Details this. Ready. Profile start proxy. Hey. Yeah, approve it. Yeah. Now in the search bar type supplier colon 
हर्बल Yeah. Yeah. Go to the second line here. On the magnifying glass. Not on. Not on this one. Magnifying glass. Three dots. So. Yeah. Yeah. Click on supply invoice. Yeah. And click on this create adjustment. Create adjustment. The fourth option. The fourth option from bottom. Create adjustment. Oh, go up. Go up. What just happened here? Create adjustment. Why it's not opening? <sighs> Again, just type uh, the supplier. In, find supplier invoices or the supplier, and then go to the same tab there. Three dots. Great. Nice adjustment. Adjustment. Now, go to adjustment region. Yeah, click on the prompt, and we can select different options here. Okay, just select anything, damaged goods or whatever you want, duplicate noise, whatever you want. Just select an option here. Yeah. Okay. Adjustment date when we are adjusting the price of this invoice. So it's the same date can be applied here. That's absolutely fine. Now we've got two options here: increase liability and decrease liability. So it's talking about from our end. For us, is it like increasing the liability? Do we have to pay more or decreasing the liability? It's like Instead of eleven hundred, do we need to pay like one thousand eight hundred now or seven hundred, whatever it is? So we have selected the second option by default here, which is like decreasing a liability. Now select the line. Yeah. Now scroll towards right. For the right. Yeah. So these are the details. Now click on save and continue. Yes. Okay. Now scroll down. Further down. Yeah. Now in the amount section. Yeah. Scroll towards amount. Yeah. Further a little down. Yeah. Right. There was an amount section, right? Yeah. Yeah. This extended amount. In the extended amount or unit cost, that's fine. Just put five hundred here. That will decreasing the liability by five hundred. Okay. Now hit submit. Now click on details and just process Richard Ho, and then approve this transaction. Going to approve. Yes, approve it. And then again, search the supplier. We'll see the balance due. Okay, now yes, go to supplier. Great. Now, as you can see, from thirty one hundred, the balance due is now two thousand six hundred in total. 
Now you can go back to invoices and payments tab and then see the invoices. You would see there would be three lines now. Yeah, go to the invoice, second line. Yeah. So as you can see, we have a three line now. The first one, the top one is in brackets, which means a credit for us. And that's why we have to pay 500 less now to the supplier. Now we'll create another invoice. So just type uh, stop proxy and uh, login as Logan McNeil. We see some other features of supplier invoices. We'll play around a lot of features here. Uh, you can say start proxy only. Does it cancel? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll say start proxy and we'll do Logan McNeil again. Proxy. Yes. LMC. Um, LMC. Not this one. It was Logan McNeil something. LMC, just type LMC. L M C yeah, and press enter. Why it's not coming? Type N E I L also. After that, N as an N C, E as an elephant, I as an Indiana, L as in Lima, yeah, and press enter. What just happened here? Why it's today? Why it's not showing the L M C? Let's type Logan McNeil, Logan space M C. Is there a proxy here? Yes. LMC. What the hell? Ah, because we are in login as Logan McNeil. If you just hit cancel, I just realized. Yeah, if you see on the left hand side, it's already showing that we are logged in as Logan McNeil only. That's why. <laughs> now type. Yeah, type create supplier invoice in the search bar. Mm -hmm. Come type TFC. Currency USD. Hey. All amount one hundred. Voice lines. One hundred. Yeah. That match. Yeah, put any amount like 2,000, 3,000, whatever you feel comfortable. Just put any amount and don't hit submit. We'll see one option here. Okay. Yes. Now uh, scroll towards a little bit right slowly and you see this prepaid checkbox, right? Click on that prepaid checkbox here. And hit submit. Error because I didn't match it up at the top. Yeah, click on the error. Click on the red button there. Yeah. Yes, we have to select an amortization type here. So click on the clo close. Yeah. And there will be a prepaid tab now. Yeah. Just uh -huh. about the yeah, prepaid details. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah. Select prepaid amortization type. Let's say manual. Select manual. And now hit submit. So go back, go back to the invoice line. We have to select something in the invoice line. A cost center is required. So just put any cost center over there. One. Oh, I have to select one from. 
Yeah, select any ARs you type anything there out there. Yeah. Right. Now it's submit. Now login as uh, Richard Ho and approve it. All right. Ruth. Now search the supplier. Supplier colon herbal life. Yep, you can not. Okay, so the balance as you can see. From 2600 to it has gone to 5600. And if you go to invoices and payment also, and under invoices, you would see that the invoice is showing up as prepaid here, the 3001. Okay. Now we'll see some more. Again, uh, stop proxy. No, sorry, I just start proxy as Logan McNeil. Just type start proxy. And say Logan McNeil. Apple. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, now say create supplier invoice. Yeah, put the company, supplier, and put any amount, but don't hit submit. Oh, no. Yeah, now don't hit submit. Yeah, you, you need to measure each. And go, go to right hand side and little bit up. Yeah, so click on approval. No, yeah, just come down on the right hand side and come down. Yeah, you see this approval button, right? Yeah, click on this prompt here and just have Richard here. Richard. Just have Richard, but we'll not select Richard, who will select some other Richard. Select uh, Richard Johnson. Yeah, now it's submit. Okay, click on detail and process. And click on the process tab here. Click on remaining process. 
Click on what? Remaining process? Yes. Okay. Now proxy is Richard Ho. Start proxy is Richard Ho. Yes, it's okay. Approve it. Approve. Okay. Now, say start proxy as uh, Logan McNeil. And simply create supplier invoice, put the amount, any amount. Now put any amount. Yeah, now scroll towards right and you have to put a unit of measure and cost center also. Put the details, a cost center and unit of measure. Yes. And scroll towards right. Hmm. For the right, for the right, yeah. Now, do you see this last column split? Yes. Click on that, zero. Or over there. Now, click select buy, and let's say amount. So what what this means is like suppose, uh, you ordered uh, before we go further. Let me explain you that you ordered uh, some office chair, okay. Uh, for your office work or some like company has purchased an office chair or a laptop, which for which the two cost center departments, okay, will bear the cost. Let's say you ordered the sofa, which would be used both by the IT department and operation department, right? It will be sitting in some sitting area, dining areas or whatever it is in the cafeteria, but both people will use. Now the cost will be bear by both cost centers, IT cost center also and the operation cost center also. So that's why we're splitting the amount between two different cost center. So when we'll do the reporting, we'll see, okay, this cost center has paid this much for this many items they have purchased or services they have got. And this cost center has paid this much for the services and things they have purchased. Now uh, click on the percent 50, 50, yeah. And cost center, yeah, region, select a region also. Let's say APAC or EMEA, whatever it is. You can put XYZ there. Uh, APAC, APAC, is it not coming? I did. Uh, there we go. Yes, yeah, like the first value. Scroll towards right. See if anything is else is mandatory. Ah, that's fine. Now, see, you have just mentioned fifty here. Okay, fifty percent. Now, if you click on done, 
let's see what happens we got one error that it's not balanced yet okay because uh, the amount is 100 and you're trying to put only 50 here so add one mm -hmm. more row there yep and here it again say 50 amount 50 and then use a different call center i'm seeing region, region can be same that one region apac and done yep now you can see this has been split into two different call centers and yeah. now it's submit Very interesting submit yep prove it let's see what's there here ah the control total amount you let's see what it is you said 200 here but the total no it just make 100 here go to control uh, total amount that's fine that's fine yeah and make it 100 yep submit yeah and just approve it by richard ho Yeah. Uh. Proof. Yes. 